While we're on the Wi-Fi thing, although changing gears quite a bit, we'll go to listener Jeff, who says, I have a Synology router, as discussed on a previous Mac Geekab episode, uh, I or as advised, I manually entered the Google DNS settings or DNS servers into the router. How does that work with my connected iPads, Macs, and iPhones? Does the router set DNS override what the connected devices are set at? Or do I need to set them all for Google DNS? So the answer is, you're right. Bear with me here. I'll give you the actual answer. If you leave, first of all, if you leave uh, your router's DHCP settings at, at their standard, which you probably have, like you can go and override all of these things. But if things are set pretty much normally, and yet you've, you, what, if things are set pretty much normally and on your client devices, you have not overridden any of the settings there, um, then what generally will happen is when your device gets an address fr uh, from your router or via DHCP, your device will also be handed a DNS server, a domain name server, and almost always that is the address of the router. So your device uses the router as its DNS server, and then the router uses whatever DNS servers it is set to, either the default ones or, in your case, you've overridden them with Google's DNS. It uses those for its lookups, and then it usually keeps a small cache so that if, you know, multiple client devices are asking for the same thing in a, in a short period of time, it just hands it out so that it doesn't have to go out to the Internet and look and obviously makes things more efficient. So in your case, if you set your router to use Google DNS and then just have your client devices connect, it's going to be fine. Uh, just make sure you're not overriding DNS on your client devices. If you override on your client devices, it will use what you put in on each device, not what happens at the router. So does that answer your question? I hope it does.